Okay, so doing this quick detour before the start of the video, uh, we are back in the last level that we left off on that I forgot to uh, grab the cakes in. Yes. Um, yeah, I, I have no idea why I forgot to get the cakes in the last episode, but we're going to get them now. So, first cake is right over here near the top of the building with this lovely crane. It's quite beautiful. Uh, second cake requires us to do a mad dash across this giant stretch of roads. Pretty awesome. Very high speed action. Yes. Look at that city, man. Look at that city. Oh, and there's the cake right there. All right. With cake number two uh, nabbed. Now we just need to warp into number three. All right. Number three is particularly difficult to find if you don't know where to look. And to be honest, this is probably one of the trickiest cakes in like this portion of the game. But you have to go find yourself anything of manhole colors, or not colors, covers. And then just keep jumping down them until you reach the point where you find the cake, which is right there. All right, that's all of them. Now for your regularly scheduled video. Well, howdy guys, this is Corkat13. I'm a woman with a deep voice, and we're officially back with Demon Turf. Yeah, I had to make a little detour early in the video. I uh, know, it's weird. Last time, we began New Neo City, and in this episode, we're going to continue our lovely journey through this big, bustling metropolis in the underworld. It's awesome. Now let's hope this time I don't actually forget any of the damn cakes because I don't want to have to keep doing that. Because usually I don't. I'm usually pretty good about getting the cakes and stuff because, you know, usually they're along the beaten path. <laughs> it's 541. Can you tell? But yeah, so usually they're along the beaten path, but, you know, sometimes they, like, to throw curveballs like that. So, anyway, this part right here is a bit tricky because you gotta be real quick. Unfortunately, since earlier I wasn't really doing a video, I don't have to include deaths on the counter, and I'm happy about that because when I did that, it was so irritating. Oh, wow. I'm surprised I actually made that. This one you might want to let loose on the gas a little bit whenever you start crossing the path there. And by the way, be sure you... Oh, hold on, let me get out of the zone here. There you go. Be sure you put a checkpoint flag down just to make sure that you're in a safe space. All right. So now we have to go collect keys. The key to victory is a key. My friend, May Jones, sent me the link to Hell of a Boss, which apparently is, like, already in its second season, and I didn't even know that. I uh, hear that um, Hasbin is going to get uh, its second season in 2025-2026. Uh, <sighs> oh, God, here's that yawn again. Ugh. I need to start doing a counter for every time I fucking yawn on a let's play, let me tell you. But yeah, so, um, has been just set for early 2025, and god, I can't wait for that. I'm just, I'm starving for freaking has been content, man. Although, let me tell you, Twitter's been my best firm when it comes to has been content, just simply because of all the artists and stuff. Like, good lord. So many great artists. All right, time to get back on the road. I wouldn't mind going like on a road trip again. Oh boy, forgot about the spikes. Yeah, these races can be a little tight, so you gotta be real careful. Again, don't feel bad if you have to let loose on the gas because um, I often have to, so. Whew. Yeah, I know a lot of people would probably be like, 
Well, if you do that, you're not gonna make it. And sometimes you might not make it anyway, because sometimes you're stupid and you tend to make a super jump. All right, go ahead and throw the checkpoint flag down there. Oh God, enemies. All right, so looks like we got an enemy gauntlet here. And looks like we are throwing them into a pit full of spikes. Yeah, now you get to enjoy how Mega Man feels most of the time, especially Mega Man 1, let me tell ya. I actually did rewatch my Mega Man uh, 1 through 3 playthrough, and yeah, I meant it's, uh, it's a pretty damn good playthrough. It's like, all three of those games are just... I'm just surprised with how much commentary I had. Like, let me tell ya, it was amazing. Alright, so... Said that the next cake is over there, so let's go ahead and dive on down. Stop on by. Great, yeah, this one I remember in my practice run on the PlayStation gave me a lot of hell because I had to like really reorient myself, mostly because of these things right here. I gotta watch out for the spike bars and all that. Even then, sometimes you're not going to make it. Hmm. Well, I'm doing much better this time, let me tell ya. Ooh, boy. Alright, let's see here, so... That right there looks like it's going to take us to the next big thing, so... Really do wish to do that. And there we go, we got a cake. Alright. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do a nice healthy wall kick. Alright, and it says the next one is back ways, so I may have missed one without meaning to. Oh, it actually says, yeah, it's all the way back there. Hmm. Well, I guess we can probably just put down a checkpoint flag and then just warp, because we can do that, so let's go ahead and stab one down. Warp back ways. Alright, so it says that it's through here. I just don't know where. Alright, is it along the beaten path or what? No, it says it's down this way. It must be on an alternate path or something. But now that we don't have to worry about the foot race thing, we can just kind of move at our own pace. Because again, it's probably one of those cases where they hit it in a really stupid place, like off the side of the road or something. You'll find they like to do that. It's it's very irritating. Alright, so it says that it's over there. But the question is, how do we get over there? Mm-hmm. Well, now that we're able to just walk at a nice brisk pace, which brisk is just a lovely word, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, watch him for that spike pile on there. Don't want to get spiked. Don't want to get hit in the bin. Alright, here's a platform right there. Because they're just so kind as to provide that. I just noticed the, that they're balloons. I wonder if they're lead balloons. I don't know. Alright, so let's go ahead and do a nice healthy wall kick. There we go. Then we can do that. And voila! Now I can just kind of hang out. We can reach the end. Look at Beebs there. She doesn't know. Actually, she would probably know better than anybody. Yay! Alright, now we get to play like we're playing Sonic the Hedgehog. Woohoo! Alright. That was a nice easy level right there. I mean, we still took a little bit longer than the level suggested, but still. Moving on. Feels good to be back in Demon Turf, man. Can't tell you how much I've been missing this playthrough. Because I took a bit of a two-week break in order to... Well, stuff. It, it was time for my psychiatrist appointments and all that, so I had to get that sorted out and, you know stress and you know you you got to be motivated to do a playthrough you know <laughs> I have my Aubrey just staring at me 
she's sitting on my phone. Which I'm kind of surprised that my phone hasn't gone off during the playthrough. Or at least not this playthrough. Then again, it's pretty early in the morning. <sighs> Mercy, my body's telling me, hey, I'm tired. Can you go to sleep, please? Uh, I would I would very much like that. Well, body, we, we, we gotta finish this video first because we haven't recorded in God knows how long. Yeah, look at that, first death of the video. Sweet. Yep, it was a, for a fucking cake. It was worth it. It was all worth it. Honestly, I was just kind of taking a shitty guess as to what was over there. Which, by the way, stuff like that's going to become more and more common as we get later in the game. Uh, I remember that a lot of the, like, bonus stages, they did a lot of stuff like that. So anyway, let's go ahead and stab down at a flag. That way we don't have to redo this portion. Oh god, more swimming physics. Ugh. So I finally got a GameCube controller, or GameCube-esque controller for my uh, Nintendo Switch. That was pretty cool. I uh, found it for like, I don't know, 20-something bucks at uh, GameStop, so that was pretty neat. Oh god. Oof. God, I don't like these spiky poles, they're uncomfortable. Though I guess if we die here, we'll just respawn back in this area because I was smart enough to put a flag down. Yeah, anyway, I was pretty happy to get the GameCube controller but uh, I didn't expect how light it is. It's just like, Yummy. it feels, I wouldn't say like cheap, but it also feels kind of just, I don't know. It doesn't feel like it has the right weight, which obviously it doesn't because it's a pro controller, but I mean, even pro controllers usually have like a good amount of weight to them. I mean, I'm playing on an Xbox controller personally, and honestly, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, finally learned the button layout of the Xbox controller, so I don't really feel all that bad now. Honestly, for the longest time, um, I hated the Xbox controller because of just having to fight muscle memory. Because my brain automatically assumed that X and Y were in certain places and all that, but... Now I kind of understand why they did it. I just kind of wish that they didn't. All right, now where's this last freaking key? Because I see that thing. Oop, I got stabbed into bum. That was rude. That was rude. Really wish it would let you keep whatever collectibles that you got aside from just the cakes. I mean, the cakes are delicious, and honestly, I think it'd be pretty tough to remove. Well, it was over there. That would probably be why I didn't see it, because it was being guarded by the spike pylon. So. Yeah. Oh my god, this, this was simple. It was just hiding. It's like a game of hide and seek. Woohoo! Alright, we got it figured out. And we already have two out of the three cakes, so, eh, we're almost there. I find it interesting that one of the earlier levels that we were in proved to be more difficult to find the cakes than these later levels are. But then again, you can play them in any order, so I guess I chose a hard level. Which, I, honestly, it's not really that hard. I just kind of, at that time, was not really... I guess wasn't in the mood to explore. Like I usually am. Because, if you know me, I love exploring in my games. At least when it comes to 3D platform. Excuse me. 3D platformers. Yeah, I got that gas. Oh yay, these bastards again. God, I hate these. I hate any time I see one of these guns. The gunmen just make my ass clench. Ooh, and he got me. 
All right, sure, that's fine. It was my own fault and put down a freaking flag, so I only have myself to blame. All right, so let's go ahead and stab a flag down. All right, there we go. Now we can respawn in this area instead. Honestly, I don't even know which ones are more dangerous, the ones that are in red or the ones that are in blue. Because even the ones in blue are pretty dangerous because they have the ability to just push you into spikes. So it's essentially the same result. Add it now. Alright, so it says that my next cake is this way, so... I want to board the platform. I want to board the pretty, pretty platform. Oh boy. Alright, so this part right here. Let me go ahead and throw my last flag down here. Alright, so the next one's up there, so it looks like I'm gonna have to go through over this direction. I have to go inside of a building. I mean, we are in a city after all, so might as well go into buildings. Apparently this is a theater of sorts. I haven't been to a theater in a while. I think that'd be pretty fun. I think the last time I was in theater, or I went to a theater, was um, Super Mario Brothers movie. That was a fun time, let me tell you. Oh boy. All right, I'm trying to figure out how to get over there. I think you're supposed to, I think you're supposed to use that thing over there and then Okay, it's not that complicated. I'm just bad at jumping. Well, making up for the depths. Go figure, it'd be a vertical level that caused me more havoc than most of the other levels. This is a pretty dangerous area we got here. I don't want to go inside the building. I mean, the theater is nice, but it's not playing Earthbound the movie, so I don't care. You don't realize how much impact Earthbound really has. Like seriously, most people don't even realize how much of an impact Earthbound had, even in just games in general. With its contemporary setting and just offbeat humor, it kind of set a precedent for like cute games that have um, that have more adult themes. It's really cool. I like that. Which, apparently that ended up being like kind of a slander for a while. Which, I don't know why it would be, I mean... It just means that the game has emotional depth. And honestly, I don't see anything wrong with that. Alright. So it says that my next destination is over there. So it looks like I'm gonna be boarding the platforms again. By the way, I should probably explain where that comes from, like, boarding the platforms for those that are not really into Nintendo games. Uh, it's actually a Super Smash Brothers, um, I forget if it's Melee or if it's, um, the original. I think it's act. no, actually, it, yeah, 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 it is actually, um, it is actually Melee and, um, Brawl and... No, yeah, just, um, the original Melee and Brawl. You know? Wow, really? But... Anyway, so those games had a mode called Board the Platforms where you would do, well, exactly that. You would just board platforms with increasing difficulty. And in Super Smash Bros. 1 and Super Smash Bros. Melee, um... Each character had like their own unique thing, their own unique challenge. Whereas in Brawl, it's all like a set challenge. And it just has like five levels of difficulty, which, you know, is fine. It's just not quite as interesting. Although I remember that one because, I mean, Brawl was the one that I owned whenever I was younger, so. Yeah. 
Alright, time to go play with missiles again. They asked so, in case anyone's wondering, that's where board platforms comes from. Anytime I mention, like, board the platforms, or whatever, I'm just referencing Super Smash Brothers. Which actually, it just... I have so many good memories with Super Smash Bros. Melee in particular, because uh, my friend Cody actually had a copy of Melee, and uh, he actually gave it to uh, my friend Oscar. And unfortunately, the disc ended up getting scratched really bad because well, it was well-loved, so... That's uh, unfortunate, and I really wish I would have gotten the disc, but, oh well. He's fine. Man, we are making good time today. I'm kicking ass and taking names. Alright, well, looks like we gotta go uh, take the subway. Yee. Yeah. <laughs> I actually been on the subway a few times, so it was fun. I like subways. I'm not just talking about the sandwich joint. Gosh. But no, I do actually enjoy sometimes taking the subway whenever I uh, got the chance. It was pretty interesting. I think the first time I went on the subway was when my dad was stationed in Virginia. And we actually went to go um, to Washington, D.C. Or was it Maryland? I, I don't remember. I think it may have actually been uh, Maryland. And then from there... Um, we went to Washington, D.C. via the subway. Yeah, 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 that's how it worked. Uh, definitely remember taking the subway in uh, Chicago. I remember that in particular. Definitely do not miss that. Uh, Chicago required a lot of walking, and to be honest, I was not prepared for it. Nowadays, I think I could probably handle it, because, I mean, I spend most of my day on my feet now, but... Anyway, all right. Do you know where that? Oh, I already missed it. I already missed our first cake. Well, shit. Well, shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and die. We didn't make too much progress anyway, so now I gotta figure out where this damn cake is. Because we are not leaving any cakes behind this time. Is that over here? Is it like at the start of the train? No? Okay. I guess it's more this way. I just don't recall. This is a very interesting level. I already expect to die like a million times to this stage. Like, let me tell you, this, uh, this is a particularly tough platforming challenge. Challenge. God, I'm so nasally. I mean, that's fine, but still. Sometimes I can get to my nerves. The fact that I'm so nasally. Ah, it's down there. That's why I didn't see it. He was slightly off the beaten path. That's fine. And then I died. It's fine, I got the cake. It's fine, asshole. I'll just meet you back over where we left off. Maybe I'll remember to put a flag down. Whew! That was exhilarating. Right. Let's go ahead and throw a flag down, and man, that's dangerous. Reminds me of this one portion of Super Mario 3 Land. What was the 3D World? I, I don't remember. I don't recall. It's been a minute. I need to find my copy of 3D Land. Well, speaking of... 3DS, I actually got a physical card of Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga DX. I'm very happy I finally got that game. Now I have a physical cart, and I'm happy. Although Beep's not going to be happy if I don't make it. And I'm not going to make it! Ooh, man. No. I'm not really shocked. Oh, wow, I died there, too. That, that, that was great. That was freaking fantastic. Yeah, you gotta be real quick with that one. That one's kind of tricky. So I'm gonna go ahead and line myself up here. Ah, crap. Oh, I should double jump. Oh, crap. Well, 
Oh, look at that. Yep, not gonna attempt that. Fortunately, the uh, platform thing in the boober uh, stays put, so. If you fail the challenge once or mistime it, it'll just reset, so you should be fine. But yeah, anyway, so um, back to uh, my Nintendo 3DS venture. Yeah, so I actually got my 3DS back up and running. I'm... Oh crap, what the, what the frick was that? What the frick was that? I'm gonna move my computer monitor because it's blocking my view. Uh, fuck. Man, I'm sucking all of a sudden. I, I, I am getting back to that 3DS story, but... Bypass that. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Go. Go, 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 no, 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 no. What the hell? Man, I am sucking hard all of a sudden. I mean, you really gotta time those jumps real precisely. Alright, did it. Whew. That is a very, very tough chomp. Anyway, so um, I did manage to get my Nintendo 3DS working again, and um, it turns out the, um, the 3DS actually can still work with a um, thumb drive lift or circle pad. Was um, thumbstick. I uh, I know that's not much of a big, like oh my god, that's a that's a big thing. I mean, for me it is because I thought I had to get a new 3DS, but yeah, well, honestly, I don't know what happened to my original 2DS. It's hiding somewhere. Oh boy. Yeah, so, once I got that working again, uh, I was pretty happy. I spent, like, a good um, hour or so playing Mario and Luigi, so it is pretty good. I want to get my 3DS modded at some point so that I can do some 3DS games. I really would like to do some 3DS stuff. I think that would be fun. I mean, there's actually a number of 3DS games I really want to do. Uh, Mario and Luigi Dream Team, that's probably near the top of the list. But 3DS capture cards are hard to find, and it just makes me sad. Anyway. Moving on. Whew! Well, time sure does fly, doesn't it? Yeah, well, unfortunately. Um, we do not have time for another stage but we will next time so next time on Demon Turf hopefully it won't be another two weeks between videos um, yeah I'll see you guys later